The story for Assassin's Creed 3 follows Desmond Miles and a new assassin, Connor. And of course, in the beginning, Desmond Miles is trying to find out a way to stop the end of the world, just like in all the other Assassin's Creed games in a way. But here, it's it's the home stretch. It's like a couple of months until the end of the world. They have to find a key to unlock a big ancient door that might help them stay, you know, save everything. And of course, he has to go through the Animus once again, going to a past predecessor of his blood bloodline and playing as that character and of course that character is Connor who is a Native American half British half Native American assassin who in the beginning isn't you know he's just a little kid in the beginning then he grows to be an assassin because he wants to go and get revenge against the people that attacked his tribe his village killed his mother he wants to go get revenge and on his way to revenge he you know he meets up with George Washington people like Benjamin Franklin all these other people all these you know historic American American figures and helps them out the best he can and of course try to get freedom for everyone because he is a noble man and he wants to figure out how to you know pretty much help everyone so while it does start off a little slow in the beginning I still think the story is very well done and really starts to pick up in about sequence five or six Connor is a great new main character he's much more serious than Ezio which is fine uh, you really care about what he's trying to do what he's trying to accomplish he could be a dick sometimes but you know whatever it calls for when he has to be. And hell, I even thought the Desmond sequences were really good in this game, which is way more than I could say for Revelations, because those were horrible. But here, you really like all the characters, Rebecca, Sean, his father, and of course Desmond. I thought all the characters were really likable. Overall, I think the story starts off slow, but is very, very well done later on, and becomes extremely interesting with some great likable characters. But now let us talk about the sound, and sound design wise, Assassin's Creed 3 is fantastic. Whether you are in a nature area filled with animals, a city area filled with people, or a battle filled with gunfire, everything sounds great here, it really does. It's a fantastic sounding game, especially with the soundtrack. It fits whatever section you are in. If you're in a you know sword fight, or a gunfight, or even a ship battle, it sounds really epic. If you're in a somber moment where you're just walking around, or you're like on a treetop, it's just very cool quiet and really works out very well for the game and of course you have the voice acting which once again in an Assassin's Creed game is fantastic you still have Nolan North voice in Desmond Miles you can't get rid of Nolan North he will be there forever until he dies and he is great once again all of you know supporting characters are great but what I really love is the guy who voices Connor and all of the little historical figures that you meet up with like Sam Adams George Washington uh, Benjamin Franklin and I won't spoil the rest but everybody does a great job here especially that Connor guy I like that guy so overall I thought the sound here was fantastic now let's talk about the graphics which I think this is supposed to be the first Assassin's Creed game that uses a completely different engine and it really does show because there is scenes in this game that look absolutely gorgeous there'll be times where you're just running up on a field and there's hundreds of dudes shooting one by one at you redcoats of course oh I hate them and they're just shooting shooting and it just looks great it's very epic there's so many scenes where you'll just of course be climbing up high ledges and stuff and you just see a huge vista and it looks amazing uh, the forest areas are some of the best out there and the sea battles are gorgeous they are absolutely amazing if that was what the rest of the game would look like I would say this is one of the best looking games of all time because it looks absolutely amazing especially with all the you know things flying off the ships and stuff but one thing I have to say there is a fair amount of glitches which I will talk about in the gameplay and some texture problems but for the most part it's still a fantastic looking game and I hope they keep using this engine because it looks amazing in my opinion but now let us talk about the gameplay for Assassin's Creed 3, which Assassin's Creed has gameplay wise been mostly the same with each iteration. You have the platforming on buildings, assassinating targets, having sword fights, shooting some dudes, and stealth your way through missions. For the most part, this remains the same for Assassin's Creed 3. The combat here with all the swords, the maces, the axes, and hell even the guns is much more brutal and polished in this game. And when I say brutal, it's because you get so many different executions and all of them are so bloody and just disgusting at times. There'd be times where you just take your tomahawk and just ran, like rapidly hit this guy in the face with it, or you just stab him straight through the eye and the ear, and then rapidly stab him in the chest and it's just gruesome and awesome to watch oh and by the way each type of weapon has a wide variety of different executions so yeah that's pretty badass 
And of course you have the platforming, which is still very, very fun just to scale up a building really quick and then jumping off into a barrel of hay. It's a lot of fun, but the thing is, it does get sticky at times where you'll just be jumping to different platforms when you don't really want to, especially when you are in a chase mission and you're just running after someone and then Connor decides, I'm going to run up this wall. And I'm like, I didn't do that. Jesus. It's still great though. It's still one of the best in the industry, but it does get annoying at times. And the world that they provide you in this game is completely open world and is freaking huge you go to early versions of places like boston and new york which are really interesting to see and huge areas of forest which is great to explore just to see little villages and little camps being set up and just seeing people doing their you know normal routine of like cutting wood or just going out and shopping I guess whatever you know whatever people did back in the 1700s and what makes exploring even better is how much stuff there is to do in this game there are so many items to collect side missions to do synchronize points to synchronize and like stores to buy new weapons from to kill many people there's just so many things you can do in this game now some of these missions are standard some of them are assassinate a certain person or save a potential assassin recruit yes assassin recruits are back and just as fun as ever but the main two side missions that are extremely fun and new are the hunting and ship battle missions. Hunting is great and you can do it whenever you want but there are side missions where you can do just straight up hunting. If you're a huge stealth fan and love the hunting at Red Dead Redemption, I believe the hunting here is actually better better than Red Dead Redemption and it is so much fun just to like, skin a wolf and fight off bears and stuff it's just badass and I'm like yeah hell yeah I'm on top of the food chain now come at me but the ship combat in this game is something else entirely if you wanted a Pirates of the Caribbean game then this is the game for you because the sailing is extremely easy once you get used to it and the battle portions are so engaging beautiful to look at and extremely tense just to take out all these little ships with your cannonballs and your little you know gunner placed things I don't even know what the hell they are but you know just shoot all these ships and watch them blow up it's just so gorgeous there's just so much content in this game with the story missions which are a lot of fun all the side missions all the little things that you'll discover the story is fantastic the sounds great the graphics are amazing overall I think Assassin's Creed 3 is a fantastic game only brought down by the sheer amount of glitches it has which I had one that actually erased my save data which I have to knock some points down because of that but overall I still think this, this is a great game Assassin's Creed is still an amazing franchise and I don't think this is a disappointment like some people have said overall Assassin's Creed 3 gets my seal of approval thank you and goodbye